1961 Grand Prix of Monza is go, go, go! Daring do! What's going on guys, my name is Matinio and welcome back to Project Cars 2 where today we are taking a little trip down memory lane because if you saw the absolutely farcical performance in qualifying yesterday for the uh, the 2019 edition of the Italian Grand Prix and of course the joke that was the Parabolica sausage curbs uh, as much as I love modern Formula 1 it does get a bit silly at times so that's why we're heading back for this one to 1961 to a time when men were men and and things of that nature. So we're all in identical Lotus 25s. It's going to be a five lap race on the historic Monza circuit with the oval and the GP course. And um, it's going to be, like I said, a five lap race with a mandatory pit stop. We're starting at the back. So it should be a fun race. We should see some overtaking and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, who doesn't love the Monza banking? It's just it's amazing. It really is. And uh, it's, it's such a fast circuit. Now it's a fast circuit, but back then it was even faster. So yeah, it uh, should be a fun race, like I said. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get things kicked off and um, let's see what kind of fun we can have. Okay then, guys, here we go. The 1961 Grand Prix of Monza is go, go, go! Daring do! Well, this is the worst part of this Monza circuit, and it's the bloody chicane. Because they just... I mean, I dislike the modern Monza chicanes, but this one is horrible, especially because the AI just have no idea what to do with themselves. And everything just backs up horribly. Like the race has got constipation. And away we go. Approaching 150 miles an hour as we head towards the second part of the banking. And this race is probably going to be a lot like Indianapolis where you're going to need someone around you to, to draft off of. Otherwise you're going to be in no man's land. Now we've got some speed. He dropped off there for some reason, I don't know why. Down to Curva Grande for the first time. Oh, the AI do not like that. Jesus, why were they so slow? into the Lesmos. Yeah, they're really slow through the conventional corners. The ones that we know of, rather than sort of just going flat out through the banking. So to get to sort of Curva Grande and the, the Lesmos and um, probably Ascari as well, which we're coming up to now. seem like they're really slow because we're pulling up to him again. That'll be P50 as we head down towards Parabolica. God, I can go so much faster I just don't know what the AI are going to do. Ugh. I mean it's set to 100. The AI. And they're still so dim-witted. Through some of these regular corners as one docks off into the pits. Early doors. Oh, God damn it. 
fucking AI, I'm... They just come to a fucking standstill. When they should be on the power. And this is exactly why I turned damage off. Because the AI just... Are so dumb. I can only hope the AI for Project Cars 3 is a lot better. Well, I'll probe him alright. I'll probe him with my finger. You have to give him a bit of room. Bumpy through this first part. I got this one, sort of mint green car coming at me. Now we start to reel him in a bit. Oof. Down to Cava Grande again. Six seconds off the lead of the race, with a pit stop still to make. And there's a big gaggle of cars here. P12. And he's coming back a bit. Have to get out of it and give him room because the is on the inside. We're doing okay as we get down to Parabolica again. Now I'm tempted to maybe duck into the pits now, but there's also the possibility because I've got enough fuel on that to go to the end of lap number three and if I do it now then I might be able to undercut them yeah let's do it now do it now get it out of the way then hopefully we'll have a nice clear run through the chicane but we can pick up a lot of time if we had a bit of clear air there. And hopefully we can catch them up. Just give me the fuel, give me the fuel. Give me all the fuels. Right, come on, go, 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 go. Let me go, 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 let me go. Clear, go, go, go. Okay then, so I don't know if that undercut has worked. The big bonus of course is that we've got some people to draft off of. We're in 16th with um, this lap and two more to go. Ooh, can definitely feel the air off the car ahead. Or at least that's what it feels like. Ah, oh, see, just. I don't know what it is, maybe the AI's gearing can go longer. I don't know, I've gone as long as I can and I'm only doing 145 miles an hour where they're probably doing close to 155. 
and they're just pulling away from us. But the advantage is I'm probably not going to have to break through here, just a little lift. Yeah, as they come down a gear though. Hopefully we're going to be able to fly now through these Lesmo corners. Ignore that, just my steering wheel being one kept. And now we're back on them. God, I don't want to be on the grass with lag as well. What the hell was that? Few cars coming out ahead of us. So we're up to P7 with two laps to go. far off the lead of the race now or oh, the actual lead of the race I think there's still someone to come into the pits need to stay up behind this guy we're going to start to pull away a little bit you can see it now laps you think there are left mate but few isn't the word I'd use to describe it but, what one and a half right, definitely in the mix for a win and hopefully given that we're so much better through the corners we can be right up there come the end of this race. Uh, let's get back under him. There we go. P4. Job done. So this is the fight for the lead. terrible through the corners and I imagine once we get up to the lead then we might find things a bit of a struggle because we're not going to have anyone to draft off of we're just going to be giving everybody else behind us a bit of a toe down towards Parabolica to kick off what will be the final lap in a moment there's that one car that still needs to pit, he'd just come in. Right now, hopefully I can build a bit of a gap. Because I'll have no one ahead of me. Oh, he's just coming out now, this is going to be close. There he is. Gotta run away. 
Run away! Run away! And hopefully we can cling on to it. They're all going to be drafting off each other though. We've got a 2.1 second lead. And they are going to be eating and I think there's going to be a fair few of them right on my backside as we head into Curva Grande for the final time. You already see them all. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're reeling me in so fast. Considering I'm doing maybe 140 to their 150, 155 mile an hour. It's not hard to see why. Two or three of them back there. This is going to be a really close finish. Here he comes. It's Bev. Hi, Bev. Hi, Bev. And now he's going to try and escape so I don't catch him through the corners. This one's probably going to have a go as well. Is it going to be a really close finish? Uh, in two miles about which way to go there. I'm caught on him, I'm caught on him, god damn it. Uh, sorry bro. Here it is then, this is the fight. It's going to be down to the last corner. Parabolica. Probably going to start to come back at me a little bit, maybe. And around the outside. Bit of a wobble at the rear. But here he comes across the line. Machinio, the young English lad with a Brazilian name. Down to the finish line to win the Italian Grand Prix. He showed some daring do there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's terrible commentary, but there we go. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Oh, we got the win. Nice. It probably would have been a lot more interesting if that guy hadn't have got his rear wheel hooked, his rear right hooked on my front left. <sighs> but yeah, that was a really fun race, really fun. Um, highly recommend you try it if you haven't done already. Um, yeah, back when racing was a real man sport, not this pampered crap we have today with sausage curbs and everybody playing who goes last. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun, really was. Whew. Right then, well that's pretty much the end of the video guys. Um, so thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, you would like to see more uh, Project Cars 2 or general racing content from myself, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit that bell notification button as well so you get updates for all of my new videos whenever they go live. And uh, also drop a comment down below, guys. If you had a go with these cars on the Monza uh, banking, what are your thoughts on it? And um, who do you think is going to win the Grand Prix tomorrow? Honestly, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a Mercedes, if I'm honest with you. But who knows? Let me know in the comments, guys. Always awesome to hear from you. But once again, thank you everybody so much for watching. Stay cool. And as always, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.